What would ants do when they see slime for the first time? What colour is a newborn ant? How do you settle in the ants into a farm? We are lab rats and this is our new experiment. Let's get to it! The ant farm came in a cardboard box. We have a supply of ant food in a separate test tube. There is also a box with decorations and the farm itself, which is made of transparent acrylic material. Let's continue unpacking. There is a pair of plastic tweezers, a tube and a pipette, plus a set of stubs. We also have here a test tube with a colony of ants and it comes in a special protection. There is a queen ant, adult ants, eggs and larvae, as well as a supply of poppy seeds. Before you open the test tube you will need to prepare the farm itself. On the exposed part of the farm I am pouring sand and pebbles. This part is called the arena. Ants will go here in search of food. The exit from the farm is closed with a plug and add a little water to the special hole so that the humidity is normal in the ant hill. Time to open the test tube and populate the ants in their new home. Gently place the tube in the arena. Now ants are under stress. They are moving to a new place. One has already bravely wandered out. It looks like they are hesitating to discover their new habitat. Therefore, we are giving them more time and covering the arena with a lid. On the next day, they have transferred the poppy seeds from a tube onto the arena, but they still seem to not to be too fond of their new surroundings. Ants are careful creatures and are easily scared off. In case of any slight danger they pick up, the ants and larvae and st start to save them. In addition to poppy seeds, they have pulled out garbage from a test tube and stacked it right at the entrance to the farm. Well, I guess we'll need to give them even more time so they can safely and calmly move into their new place. A few more days passed, but the farm was still empty. Ants are still reluctant to leave their test tube. It is strongly not recommended to shake ants out of the tube, but there is another way to speed up the process of relocation. First step is to cover up part with a farm with foil. Then put a lamp nearby and turn on the light so it hits the arena. Ants don't like bright light and will try to hide from it in the part covered with foil. A couple more days have passed and check this out. Finally we managed to relocate the ants from the test tube. Some still wander inside, but now they aren't afraid to be inside of the farm. The test tube can now be removed. And so the ants could be observed, we removed the foil. They got scared and again tried to save the offspring. Don't worry little buddies, nothing is threatening you. In the meantime, we'll make a water bowl in the arena. Put a piece of cotton in the plastic bottle cap. Try to find a flat one. Then add water to the cotton with a pipette. Now ants can drink from here. Everything is ready for the colony to develop. They've dragged poppy seeds into the aisles and they tend to live in the middle, right on moist gypsum. Most try to stay close to the queen, helping her grow offspring from eggs, which she is constantly laying. Look, this is a newborn ant. He is light in comparison with the others. You are witnessing how it begins to take its first steps. His mother and siblings are trying to help him. The colony is not very large yet, but we will observe how it will grow and how the ants will move into their new premises. Several weeks have passed and our ants become much bit larger. They filled the empty spaces with sand. It is not clear why they needed it. It's time to feed them with the food that was in the box. Let's pour it out next to the entrance so that they needn't go far for it. Apparently, they are not very hungry because they are not in a hurry to collect grains from the arena and drag them inside their anthill. Look at how many eggs 
and larvae the queen has laid. Note that in addition to giving food and moisturising the improvised water bowl from time to time, you'll still need to clean the farm sometimes. The ants dragged all the trash into the far corner and set up a landfill here. It's not so easy to remove. We will try to remove all the trash using slime. At the same time, let's see how much they like the anti-stress. Ants are very interested in slime and seem to be trying to attack. Well, the trash sticks to the slime pretty well. The only downside of this method is that along with the garbage you have to throw out part of the sand. We will continue to monitor the growth and development of the ant colony. Let us introduce them to unusual and strange things for them. Subscribe to our channel to not miss the sequel. We promise you, it will be very interesting. See you soon!